<laughs> Hold my shoes. Well, today's little walk from Glen May. <laughs> it's a footpath I've never been on. We've got a guest with us today, Sammy. Sammy. School holidays. Say hello, Sammy. Hey. Overjoyed, oh, Sammy. Look at that thing over there. And she's out yeah. today with Howard and Hilda. Howard and Hilda? You've not seen that thing on the television? That series. <laughs> You want it on? Oh, no. Ever decreasing circles. Oh, ha! <laughs> and there was two on there, a couple. They were always dressed the same. And they were called Howard and Hilda. Do you know what? There's a guy I know that one day dressed exactly the same as me and it was completely accidental, but you seem to be doing it deliberately. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get the skirt on this morning. <laughs> So this is a lovely little path, it's lovely and well maintained, easy to walk on. Somebody's done a lot of work on this little path for you. Oh, come on. Not down there. Oh my gosh, it's a swing! Lovely little swing! A Woo. swing here, Sammy. This is why we bring kids, isn't it? You're not having a go. Aww. Let me have a long go. Do you want me to give you a tug? You give her a tug, Carla. A little one. I don't, I don't need a tug. Good. Watch out, Penny! What, Penny, move! Cool, isn't it? <laughs> Mommy, I'm spinning and I can't help myself. <laughs> uh, Penny, it's like a play area for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> Twigs for the dogs. Come on, give me a tug. Give you one more. One more. Oh. Yeah, you're making me go backwards. <laughs> uh, uh oh. <laughs> Mama! Just killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> I got the one. Yes, as I said, oh, folks, I can honestly say I've never, ever been in this little town. Some holly down there. That'd be nice at Christmas. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to come down here at Christmas, my girl. We'll have to. Somebody's made this an extension of the garden. Oh, a fabulous little bridge. Sammy, shh. Do that quite far away. Oh, you! <laughs> Here, there's your Chris. And somebody's even put us a Manx flag. I think that's how I know I'm not, not lost. Maybe. Well. Trespassers will be composted. All oh, right, where's that? That's just there. So I, I wouldn't go in there. Oh! Some white lilies. Beautiful. You just hear the insects buzzing, can you? Buzzing. Oh, this is gorgeous. I found some more lilies and a dove. Yeah, I don't think they're lilies. Oh, yeah, lilies there. Yeah, right. lilies. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Look at these big, tall things there. Someone must have put an awful lot of effort to plant all these things. I know, how kind. They? Orange lilies, Carla lilies, red lilies, rainbow lilies, blah blah lilies. Don't pull the, pick the plant, you little bugger. Oh, and them ones. My <gasps> hands are. Those, these lilies here smell divine. They do. I know. Did I tell you they're my favourite uh, flower? If you're you, ever in trouble. You have told me. You know you need to get me some nice lilies. Good flowering. Expensive away. then. They but are actually. To upset you. Yeah, don't upset me.
We're not going to lose you today with that noise, are we? Ow! And at the end, we have a sultan. No, it's it'd be somebody's property. Well, Balakrink Moor. What? Balakrink Moor. Go Watch out, there might be clowns in there. <laughs> See where the, it's had um Oh yeah. Thatch on it. See what this is, Sammy? Where are you? See that? Yeah, I know. I know, I know. What I know. is it? A latch. A latch? <laughs> what did they put on it? Um, pictures. <laughs> no, they used to tie rope around it and they'd have, um, what is it? It's not hay, is it? Thatch. Thatch. Yeah, rushes, on the roof. Probably. You know, you know when we went to Craig Nish the other week oh, no. and all those sea roofs had uh, thatch on? They used to tie it around there. There's one there, one here. What did they do with it? Oh, yeah. it was it was the roof at the time, so they didn't have this. They had this other stuff. Pretty cool, isn't it? And they put that on it right now. And they'd have to change it over every so often. I think. Not much left of it. There's a house. Do I get paid money for doing this? <laughs> yeah, I might let you live at my house again. Rent free for another week, Sammy. Yep. How much money do I get paid? Well, we'll see. You did order two rings yesterday, I seem to yeah, remember. Yeah, that's it. Ah, look. We wouldn't even be able to take a horse anyway. Just in case folks are thinking about it, it is, I'm afraid, an on-horse, non-bike, non-vehicle path. There's another one here, Ray. So these could be those two that's, uh, is that, is that in your book? No. No? What's the, oh no, what's his name? Mike Goldie? Yeah. Ah, that was it, yeah. I don't know, I don't think these, I was never on this path, I've never been on it. Ah, oh, right, because that's, that's definitely another one. Yeah. With the woman who, who puts the uh, hen in the oven, forgot yeah. about it. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, it could be this one. There was two tales I heard of, hmm. same as you. What did she do? One had a rooster which she thought the world of. And um, she used to keep it warm at night and put it in the oven when the fire went out. But one night her maid came home and put some more stuff in the fire. Before she went to bed, when she got in the morning, the rooster was cooked. Did you hear that? No. She forgot about the rooster in the oven and cooked it. She only try and keep it warm. Yeah. Hey, look. Doghouse, Ray, just for you. Oh, I've been out too many times. Is that actually how doghouses were? Yeah, it looks like a doghouse, doesn't it? It is a doghouse. It's just an animation. Mm -hmm. There's more. We need to... Uh, Roxy, there's a lovely little bridge coming up. Oh, uh, Roxy doesn't like bridges, does she? Exactly, so we need to have a bit of a laugh with Roxy. Roxy, come here. Wait. It's so somewhere. So we continue on the footpath. Wait. One by the Glen May River, which you can hear burbling in the Roxy. background. Roxy, Roxy, come here. Here, wait. Come here. Here. Here, Roxy, wait. Roxy! Go on. Oh, this is nice. Let's all sit down. You want to sit down? Oh, I should have brought that stick with us. You having a paddle, Roxy? I'm going to get in. Oh, yeah. yeah? You know you'll be walking with wet feet for the rest of the time. Come on, kids. Yep. Wet hand. How refreshing. Nice. Yeah, it's clearer than the other bit of water that's further up here. And on You're we a go. Good girl, Penny. This has been well trimmed by the forestry board or whoever does footpaths. I definitely suggest you get this on your weekend because this is a cracker of a place to be walking.
<clears throat> Stones in the pathways like this always reminds me of the Wizard of Oz. Does it? The number two one, what's it called? Return to Oz or something. All right. You know, when the, they go back and all the paths ruined. Yeah, yeah. Always reminds me of that. Well, these are well looked after, aren't they? Yeah. A great choice, Carla. I know, yeah. I know, that was nearly you saying I'm right. <sighs> That's as bad as me saying yes all the time, isn't it? Oh, well, I like that. Don't fall down there, okay? Hey, talk. Hello. More yellow brick road. Goodbye, yellow brick road. When the dogs have decided to love me, me mm -hmm. As I said, the forest board must be commended. Maybe. I know people moan about the Alaman sometimes, but Maybe. just occasionally a bit of praise doesn't go, go, go amiss. So we're still walking along by the Glen May River. Bridge. What bridge? Went over it, that was it. No, another bridge. Uh, so that, that was back there. Don't worry, there's loads more fantastic things to see. This is what I like about the other man. I've never <laughs> walked in the Lake District, Peak District, or all these other places. All you get is people. But in the other man, <laughs> we rarely ever see anybody when we're out and about. How lucky we are. I think I've done this walk with Laura and Lisa years ago. We take it all for granted. All for granted. Hi. Well, the mission today though was bright. <laughs> get the bill cameraman has got to walk, talk and video at the same time. You'll have to carry it. Put these leads in there actually. Time for replenishments. Real rubbish. I need to take a bottle of water when you do these things. Oh. You never know when you'll need it. Right. Does this go out right along the river, Carla? Hey. How far does this go? Do you uh, know? It's going to lead us up to the top of the road, and then we have to walk up the road towards them miners' cottages. Yeah. It's not miners, is it? No, quarrymen. Quarrymen. Yeah, I've always said what well, miners was. <laughs> been corrected. An interest in wind. Okay. Yeah, and then we get up to the um, thingy. Well, when we get up to the road, I'll stop recording. Yeah, there's not much to see coming up this bit anyway. Until we get to the quarrymen's cottages. Hey, There we are. So if we'd have gone the Glen Russian Roadway... That's the road now, is it? Yeah. It, it just comes along this way instead. Just how old I am, folks. They used to drive along this road 50 years ago, whenever the road was here. Now it's a footpath. So as I said before, this used to be a main road. Oh, I've driven along this many times. Now it's just a footpath. Well, think bikes and horses can use it. So we'll just put a bit of video on so you know where you're coming to. 
bees having a right good time. Oh, it keeps going further away. Damn it, they go right inside. The bees? Yeah. Yeah. Cigarette trees. That's the one. Oh, nice. Hey, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I'll tell you a little picture of that. wonder what that is. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you're all right. I'm going to get a picky. Look at Mrs. Brown right now, but I feel like there's like a web on my face. Yeah? Mm. So as Carl is doing a bit of video or photographing this little stream, we were talking before about Mike Goldie's book. If you haven't got it, try and find it. It's about 30 years old and um, it's full of information and folklore. And then he was talking about two women who lived in Glen May in a little house. And um, they lived in here for years. And as they got old, they just, their locals didn't think they survived. So they found a home in the village for them. They moved them in shortly after that one of the sisters died. And um, the old sister then decided she'd go back to where she came from. So she moved back. Whether this is the place or not, I don't know. Yeah. I think this is it. Is this that? one. Yeah, I recognise it from his book. So it's not much to see of this little ruin, folks. I don't know what it's called. So as usual, there's an ash tree growing in the middle of it and a sycamore behind it. There's the other end of it here. It's well hidden, isn't it? Mm. You'd have to know where to find it. There's a little out. There's two buildings here. Yeah. Wow. I if you can see it on I'd the camera I'd love to folk. get in there. But there's definitely two of them here. How do I get in it? Well, you can't Without getting stung. Fenced here, look. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't bother trying to go. No. If you want to see this, folks, best come back and wait how many trees are bare. You get yeah. a better idea what it is. With no shorts on. So you used to camp down here, did you? Yeah, right here. It was lovely. By the street, by the river. Yeah, I've got I've got a little picture of me on my own with my tent. Do not eat my midges. Don't remember getting eaten by midges, to be fair. Probably had a couple of cans to ward them off, didn't you? There was um, a big party of young ones who turned up as well. Yeah, camp right there. It's well overgrown now, though. Which one? It used to say no camping, because that means camp. No, it's not, not in your vocabulary, is it? I think that's the sign up there that said no camping. Because it's gone. So can you say that these days with your liberation? What? No camping. Oh, my ha! God. <laughs> That's a good point. What? Well, is it nice? Look at that child having the worst day of her life. She doesn't want to do this. It's <laughs> horrible, this. Yay! Oh, wow, it's a little bridge. Oh, wow, I've never seen it this low. It's pretty nice. It is low, isn't Wait, it? Wait, Sammy, look at me. Fantastic, isn't it? You want to try crossing them, like get your video and yeah, sure. falling in? Oh, yeah, of Mama, course. Mama, if you want, but don't moan for the rest of the day when you've got to walk in them, all right? You want to cross with me? Okay, Careful, <laughs> Sammy Oaks, Sammy! Oh. She got less wet than I did. Oh, look, there's easier bridges here. Ah, oh, damn. Yay! And there's a pipe up there. Remember, we have to make our own bridge. I know, well, we may have to do that later because it could have been gold.
Your turn. I don't think so. I did it last time with so. Ramsey. We booted bo him when he just tried it. You dropped your what? Nice. Nice. Carl has posed shots. Nice. <laughs> the river of dreams. Let me see the picture. I'm so we've talked about the river. Actually. Back on the path now. We're so heading that to the up here. Men's cottages. That's obviously plantation, isn't it? It is. Up there is a property called Arisi House, is it? Yeah, or, or Arisi Farm, maybe. Right, um, Sammy's dad. No, Sammy's. Sammy's nana's father planted the trees. Really? And lived in that house. Yeah, she used to get the train, cycle her bike from that house in Arisi into Peel, get the train to Douglas to go to school. Really? And you're moaning about going across the road. Across what road? Yeah, I've got a picture of um, Nathan in the pram with his mum and his brother outside the front of the house. And I've got a picture of me, Nathan and uh, Sammy outside of the house. Up the Arisey? Yeah, I think right up the Arisey. The Arisey now you can actually, well you could, rent out the government. Well it used to, they used to do camping things there. Yeah, but I don't know where they can now well, They also did a film up there called the, it wasn't the fog of the dark. The Arisey farmhouse film. Yeah, I remember, oh shut up you. I remember it, it, it's, a, it's a horror, oh, I love you. <laughs> Carl, his favourite expression when we're walking is, it's just up this way. Just up here. Just up here. Round the corner. Just round the corner. Down the way. And gullib... No, it's the wrong way. Gullibly, we always follow her. Mommy, please. I know, do you know why you... Yes, no, Sammy, it's the wrong way. Do you know why you always follow me? Go on. What's in my bag? Oh, food. <laughs> I'm not completely stupid. No, I'm not. See up there, there's a there's a plinth entrance up there to a mine. I know. Mm, I've never been up there, never got to it. Whew. See across there, Carla. See yeah? The, see the spoil? Yeah. That was all quarried by hand. I know. Men with a pick. And if you go further along, you can see their officers. They've been there. I haven't, no, it's just up there and behind those trees, you can just see there is where the plinth bit is, but I've never got to it. Uh, well, we need to come down there from the Dolby mountainside. I, did, I started off over that way and I got lost. And well, you would do. <laughs> didn't find it. Yeah, that was one that's day what I did. That's talking about the quarrymen. Oh, here we are. Arisey Forest. Hey, John's. You are here. Where's the, where's the sandwich eating place? The sandwich eating place yeah. is... Uh, there. So it's ages away? No, it's not. It's literally just up there. It's just up we're there. We're here. Do it, that's down there. Yeah, we're not following that. We're going down that way. Exactly, so ages away. Come. The sandwich eating place. It'd be the best buddies ever. Look, it's just there. I'm roasting, but you're glad you took your jumper off. Thank you. As I was saying before we found the plantation sign, well, it's difficult to believe that this place was a hive activity <gasps> Let me see your in head. the 1860s. God. There's three quarries in this area. Guy. Yeah, it's makeup. And um, employing not, 120 men. I know, I didn't rub it off properly. And there were slaves no, through the mining, obviously. Or yeah, that's from rubbing off. Hacking out of the hillside. Oh. I think they've been quarry, uh, going no, no, in no, far, but all by hand. I had to put like, soap on it and it made my eyes burn. And that sort of operated up until the late 1860s. Mm. And then it became unprofitable, apparently. Yeah, and you say, I need money for my eye, I don't have no get money. I wonder if it would be profitable yeah, today with the place of slate. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Oh, <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful road. All these trees going so straight. All I can hear today is the river. 
and the birds might like to be out. Just up around the corner, here's the offices and the dwellings of the quarry men. I did a video on that last year, so we're not spending much time on that. But I'll put a link in my description, you can go and look for it yourself. A bit of history of it and so forth. <laughs> What Sammy used to call a stick, she used to say, di. Di. Dick. Dick. So we'd be walking through things and she'd go, Mommy, Mommy, look, big dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> nearly died. <laughs> I've corrected her now. <laughs> Just small dicks now, Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, do you remember this bit? No. No. Oh, wait, yes. Yay! See, I wasn't lying. I'm kind of lying. Hey, on here. Guess what? Somebody knocked over a tree. Mm. It was a really old tree. Mm. And it... Wait then, because we have to walk out of here. I'm going to put the glasses on this. This is the... Quarrymen's cottages. Just look, I had it. Yeah. It looks terrible. Does it? Mm. I've just got glasses on. God, it's warm. <gasps> Six or seven in a line, oh, little gentle curve on it. So these are the quarrymen's cottages, Sammy. And apparently at the end of one of them, you told me this on, the uh, at, on, the, on one of the ends, the um, oh, top, top man lived in it. I forget his name now. Hey, look. Oh, wow. That looks pretty cool. And uh, it's on, um, it's actually on Ray's YouTube. He's done many more. Uh, talk on this. Well, it takes lots of photographs, which They're is fabulous because it adds to our story. It's very photographed and most of the sites are hers and on a little phone. I think she's just such a cracking job with it. Hmm, brilliant. I'll have to buy a camera, she said, wouldn't use it, wouldn't know how to use it. So, what do you reckon, Carla? Fantastic. Which is the bit with the crack in it? It's on the other side, one of the side walls. Oh, is it right? <laughs> You want to tell us a bit about it? Uh, well, at the end of one of them, the top man lived in it. What was his name? Manager. The manager, that's the one. Top dog. Uh, it was the quarryman's cottages. You've, you've got more information on your uh, YouTube thing on this one. In my yeah. YouTube, I did, yeah, and last year, did a whole video on this little area, so if you yeah. want more information, dig it out. It's on Isn't YouTube. Isn't it named uh, Quarryman's? These are the quarrymen's cottages, Jeff. Yeah. So you'll be able to get more information via that. Don't jump down there, there's something to see down here. This is what I've been wanting to show you for a while, Ray. Okay? Oh. Whoa! Kind of Did again! <laughs> I never get it, never catch it. So there's something down here, keep going down, Tommy. <laughs> well, an exploratory mission now. It was about five years ago when I went down here with my mate Lou and you went, I want to go with you. Who did? Ray, and I never took him. Like, no, stay away. Five years ago? Yeah, it was quite, oh, quite a while ago. What, well, I wanted to come down here with you? Hey? Was it me coming down here with you, did you No, say? you wanted to come with me. Yeah, I know. To see this, what I'm going to show you. Oh, right. But you I didn't know Ray five years ago. I did. But I, uh, I kept denying him, you know. Were you dating five years ago? No. This way. Hang on, it's this way. I'm going this way. Okay, we're still a little building there, you know. I know. But whatever it is, is down here, so you're going to have to watch your stepping. Mommy, help. Yeah, I know, I'll be there in a minute, Sammy. Oh, I don't know if I want to hold that. Whoop! You might have to stop recording to get down here, you know. Ooh. 
Gosh, woman, be careful. Whoa. Ow! <gasps> now, Rick. Luke, your bag is open. Is it? Mm. Yep. Here it is. Woo! Well. Oh, you know, I'll just take a picture, shall I? I'll do all the work. You take a picture. All right, then. So there's this thing here, which I don't really know what it is. It's two holes, quite wide. I've no idea what. It could be a pen or something. Wait, Whoa. who lives in those? They were the quarrymen's cottages, Sammy. What quarrymen's? People who used to work in the mines. Mine? That's not. That's definitely not a mine. Ouch. Did you walk along here? You walk along. I walked along this way. If if you come along this way, there's something else in there. You might be able to get the camera in. Okay. You just shove the camera in because you won't be able to shove yourself in. Dog's a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I can't go anywhere though. Yeah. Right there, you go. Oh, I see. Whoop. It's cool, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I don't know what those go either. Hey, you're not as nosy as me, are you? No. <laughs> Come on, you bird. So we've got two um, large openings. No, oh, it's some sort of fire because there's a shed above it, isn't it? I don't know, but if you look in the next door compartment there, there's like a hole in the wall like a shelf. Oh, right. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And uh, the slate lentils, they would have got obviously mined themselves, wouldn't they? Ready. Quarry. Some great neck. Ready. Oh, yeah. So it's just in there. <laughs> no room for both of us. Oh, well. Yeah. Don't fall. I'm trying not to. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Huh. I've never seen this girl. I know. You are so good to me. Well, I held off for a good five years for you. You did. Worth Was it worth it? Worth waiting for, folks. Oh, good. See, it costs nothing to be nice to you. Nothing at all. <laughs> Come on, doggies, let's go up. Can I get all these flies out of the way? <laughs> Come on, Penny. Get all the flies out of the way. Come on up. Up. Up she goes. Up she goes. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> sandwiches, yeah? Eating his sandwiches. Not recommended <laughs> for the um, faint of heart. What? And incapacitated this little viewing, but certainly worth finding. Better probably in the winter time when the leaves are gone. You'll see more. Hey! Right, Sammy, do you want to have a look down here? There's another building there, but. We're just uh, videoing this because I've not been here for a little while. Okay. But Carl is going to point. Carl, just point out that crack while I video it for folks. Put your hand to it. Here? Yeah. So that'll be gone soon, I'm afraid, folks. Yep. So be very careful when you're here. Very careful. It'll be a shame when that's gone because the whole out is going to fall. It will out. be. I think it will all come down. So people used to live in these, Sammy. I know. Oh look, look at this as well, Ray. Oh. I don't want to go in there to be honest. Oh yeah. No, I'm not going to bother. Oh, it's it's quite sad, really. I'm glad we've done the video. There's another part of it, folks. It's got to go. Yeah. I'm so glad I've done it. Yeah. Oh, that so walls glad. were going to fall over. So w they would be going in and out of these doors, if you can imagine it, because they worked in the mine. Rem remember when we cycled that time up at the top and the mines were there? Well, this is where they lived. And we're going to go and see a wheel casing thing. So they did a work there as well. And what in one of them, like we said before, was the manager at the end, and I reckon it's this end. I'm only guessing though, I'm sure someone will put me right. I would think it's this end so they're protected. So what do, you, what do we think? Hey? What do we think? Um, there's loads more cracks than you think, you know. I know, when you start looking closely, it's starting to go, isn't it? I feel quite sad actually, it's quite emotional time that it's going to be gone soon. Well, it should be preserved. 
because it's such a powerful yeah. part of our past. And yet we erase millions on stupid things like statues mm. that don't matter to anybody. A place like this do. Our kids need to know about this, but they won't. And the, do you know what the, the thing, the sad thing is, one day someone is going to be exploring it. It's going to fall down. Yeah, yeah. And then there'll be another statue. Yeah, to the person before they yeah. saved it. Yeah. Yep. So this would have so been the men would have walked down here as main well. road and work. main path was required on the opposite side of the valley go. here. So you'd be walking this twice a day. Rain, wind, snow, do not matter what it was. It's amazing, don't you? The work had to go on. No. Yes, yes so you do. So we're going down to the river. It is interesting. It's our the history. We're going to go into what used yeah, to be Yeah, you know when they say show and tell at school. Like that. What did you do through in your summer holidays? Because I haven't had buddies when you get there. A video about some stupid rocks in the middle of nowhere that no one lives with it anymore. <laughs> There's absolutely magic. Can't remember school time. What to do. Are you ready? Folks, I don't. I've seen Aiden last night when me and Charlie were playing long. out. And he looks exactly like so Scooter. Time to do he does, it. doesn't he? On a scooter with his back, with his hat back to front. It's just wonderful to be on. Yeah, look, this part of the old road. It's mm, pretty cool. So what, do you feel fancy to walk on it? I just think it's nostalgic. Oh. Love you spotted, girl. The yellow brick road. Oh, I'm walking the yellow brick road. Yeah. <laughs> So, instead of reservoir dogs, you heard of that, yeah? Yeah, filmed by Quentin Tarantino. Is that right? Yeah. You know everything. I it's do. reservoir butties time. And we're going to sit in the old reservoir. We're going to climb in the old empty reservoir. Oh, empty. Well, unless you want wet butties. No. Nope. And it's the most peaceful place to have dinner. Really? Well, except for if you're talking all the time, but oh, it will be peaceful. I'll, I'll try to shut up. Yeah. But what, what was the year? 19... It was built in 1938. 38. And decommissioned when, Carla? Uh, 2010, actually. Well done, only 12 yes. years ago. And I think, again, it was a relation of uh, Sammy's that... Knocked it down. Knocked it down, it's yes. Granddad, I think. I think so. Wait, what? I think We've your granddad some, bashed we it in. We found some pictures of it as a reservoir, so we'll put it with the video, so you know oh, what, we, it down. where we're yeah. sitting. Why? These pipes have been used for um, piping the water from the reservoir wait, he, to Glen May and Dalby and onwards. And um, some would actually fill the reservoir, some go from the reservoir, and others would, would take it from it. So down I go like a slat lamb to slaughter. So it's that bit over there that's a bit dicky, isn't it? Yeah, it does not. Should we make a bit more of a bridge? We're just going to make a bit more of a bridge. So it's not as good as it, it was from last time. Penny move. move! Roxy, no! <laughs> Roxy thinks we're playing. I'm playing. We're making a bridge. No so planning permission. This is the bridge. So are you all right with this, yeah? Oh, fabulous. Once I get across, we're, we're fine. Come on. Yeah, I thought that may be the case. Just be careful, it might be slippy. Way! Yeah. It's a bit, ow, it's a bit prickly, but it's worth it. The reservoir's dry. The reservoir's dry, folks. But it's the hence, most peaceful place to have your sandwiches. Hence, there's a host pipe ban. Yep. I've never been across here before. Oh, I've gone, Mum. It's just there's a sign over there, and I need to see what it says. Yeah, stay out. There's also a pile of bulrushes in here. And behind me is a delightful buddleia. And wow. this is early August, it's full of butterflies. 
Where are we sit having our buddies? Just up there on that rock. Funny you can hear the echoes as you're talking in here, you know. It's fantastic. It's one of my favourite places to I be. I can see what you mean by being tranquil. Yeah, well, I, I'd come this way, sit on the rock with my little snack and think about life and, and how um, lovely it is. Do you ever think about death, girl? Um, not in here, no. Good. No. Doesn't feel like death to me either. No, it's great. Go. So, Go folks, we're now having our buddies. Well oh. earned, we feel. Well earned. Um, huh, have you seen that? Mine's named Snails. Sammy had snails in this box the other week. Is that mine? No, this is mine, actually. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's all right, then. <laughs> Yours is there in your box. In my box, then. Oh yes, this is nice. Reflections on the wall. Ow. Okay. Up there. Good, good walk. Lovely walk, wasn't it? Yes. I'm, I'm really glad we came actually, since I've just seen those quarries, cottages. Yes, things, yes. You know. And they may not be there next time we come up. Nope. Is the camera rolling? Yeah. Rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. And them doggies rolling. Right. Do you remember when I said about it being tranquil in here? Yeah. Oh, just, so that was, that was, that's not now. Now, as we eat my sandwich, I'll tell you a bit more about what's around here. If we go back to the, over the river and go up the other side. No, Roxy. Um, you walk up the track, splits into two, two footpaths. One goes to the left, goes to a place called Russian Farm or Glen Russian Farm or Karen's Farm. Past an old chapel and some of the ruins, gets up to the round table. If you take the right footpath, it eventually goes past the ruin called Thalu Quain. And both Thalu Quain and uh, Karen's yeah. farm have done a video on. They're on YouTube, so you can check them out. But there's an interesting tale about Karen's farm and Thalu Quain, which I'll tell you. I'll tell you a video, but I'll tell you again. It's a good tale. Nope. All good tales are worth telling. Can you have this? And um, a fellow called, what was his name? Nelson. He used to work at the railways down at Colby. Roxy? He used to walk up to Glen Russian Farm between the wars, have tea with the farmer up there. And the farmer and the guy in Tyler Quain were friends. And they used to keep a, a light in the window of each house. And if there was something wrong, the light would go out and the others would investigate because the light wasn't working. And this particular day, he turned up for his tea on a Sunday, didn't he? guy in Glen Russian's farm, which could have been Karen, said, oh, the fellow Quain lights are on it, we need to go and see. So they went down the valley, over the river, up the other side to the place. And when they went there, it was deadly quiet. There wasn't an animal or a sound anywhere. Opened the door, which they didn't lock. And there was the note on the table that just simply said, gone to America. <laughs> they just upped sticks and left. Gone to America. Mm. Another tale I was told by John Kenyuk was as a, the cottage used to live in Balacotia, which is another farm up here. And Mrs. Cottier was a, a scutcher, my mum would call her. She never walked anywhere, she more or less ran. Mm -hmm. She used to go from Balacotia Farm to St. John's to catch the train into Douglas and do her shopping in Douglas. This particular day she was on the train. Roxy, you're so, getting all this. Talking to Mrs. Corlett. No. And Mrs. Corlett said, Are you off shopping there? And Mrs. Cotty, I am, she said. She said, Are you going past the Bonton stores? Now, for old people like me, Bonton stores is in the middle of Douglas. Sold everything, like a hardware store. Oh, maybe, she said. She said, They've got a special offer on, she said. You can get two toilet brushes for the price of one. Now, Mrs. Cotty was quite a shrewd woman. She thought, oh, that sounds reasonable. So she uh, got the brushes, got all this shopping done, two bags, back on the train, back home, bumped into Mrs. Cotty. I got those brushes, she said, those toilet brushes. Well, good, thanks for telling me. It's all right. So she gets off the train, carries two bags from St. John's Station up here. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Two sh full shopping bags, walking. She was in her 60s, this woman, she wasn't a young one. Put the groceries away, 
I made some tea and they went on. Next week she did the same thing on the train, bumped into Mrs. Court. Mrs. Court says, how, how are things going? All right, she said. What do they think of the, of the brushes? To be honest, she said, the boys weren't that keen, she said. They used them a couple of times, but they're going back to toilet paper. <laughs> I knew it was something. <laughs> You've not heard that time. Oh, look. Mm. Lots of tragedy. Why are they all over a bum? No, oh, I know. She's in season. She's in season. The flies, I think. Muffle. <laughs>